Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. After the weekend rains are very beneficial, anywhere from quarter half an inch to about an inch and a half up in the hills. So uh, we got a little wet. Today we cleared out only middle and upper 50s, though, for high. So a chilly air mass came in after that cold front. Got another area of low pressure up here in the Gulf. Uh, this system, though, is moving northward. The cold front kind of left to fall apart. There are a couple of systems behind that, though. And these are the ones we're watching actually for Wednesday night. Uh, for maybe some more rain here. So we'll track those for now, though. Latest cold front again just off the coast of the Pacific Northwest, starting to bring uh, some shower activity inland. But again, uh, not a big deal even for them. Uh, these are mostly light showers and certainly not expecting anything to get as far south as California. So this one will pass us by uh, clouds and rain, though. We will watch that here for the next couple of days. High pressure just off to our south. Again, you can see that weakening front uh, barely putting anything even on the coast up to our north. Uh, the next front, though, comes in on Wednesday. You can see we're still mostly sunny at least Wednesday morning at 9 a.m., but the clouds will work down through the afternoon on Wednesday, and then the rain line will also start to shift southward. You can see our front here. This one looks to hold together, so hopefully the forecast uh, stays intact. Here's Wednesday at 10 p.m., so your day is dry on Wednesday, but Wednesday night, rain coming in to San Francisco and then working southward. So this is kind of a quick hitter overnight rain light to maybe some moderate rain could pick up another quarter half an inch, maybe a little more in the hills. We'll see that pushes through and then we're already clearing probably at least the rain out by Thursday morning. The clouds will probably take the better part of the day to actually clear out. Now with that, a winter storm watch. So they issue the watch before they issue the warning. A couple of reasons for that. We're still a few days out. Want to give people a heads up, but also not 100% sure on the forecast. As we get a little bit more confidence, then the winter storm warning goes up about 24 hours out. But a heads up again, that's for Wednesday night going into Thursday morning. You will need probably chains or your four wheel drive if you're going through the Sierra. 32 to 39. Speaking of cold, we're going to have a cold night tonight. And some fog is also possible along with frost because the ground is pretty damp, right? So we can do both of those late tonight. Look at some of these temperatures dropping off into the upper 30s in Santa Cruz and Monterey, middle 30s and upper 30s, Watsonville and Salinas, and right around the freezing mark possibly in Gilroy and Hollister, 32, 34 degrees. Same thing, Salinas Valley, you could see some numbers down around 33, 32, 34, Soledad, Gonzales, and that of course goes all the way down to San Ardo, Parkfield, Bradley, Lake, out to Lake Nacimento, Fort Hunter, Liggett. So heavy coats tomorrow morning. We do have sunshine, though, in the forecast, mid 50s to low 60s. Winds will stay light, seasonable temperatures within a couple of degrees of average. Although I think after all that warm weather we had for so long, it still feels kind of cool out. About 60 in Santa Cruz, 60 Watsonville, about the same Gilroy Hollister, probably just middle and upper 50s. Um, ben Lomond, Bonnie Dune, Boulder Creek, 57 around Monterey, Carmel, Seaside, 61 here in Salinas. We got some low 60s in the Salinas Valley and about 60 in Carmel Valley and Big Sur. Now your KSBW eight day forecast shows again those changing conditions. Tuesday's nice. Wednesday we start to see clouds second half of the day. Clouds fill in. We got the rain Wednesday night or into Thursday morning. Again, the timing could change on that, so we'll watch that closely. Could still be a few showers Thursday morning for the commute and then pleasant weather really through the following weekend. So if you've got shopping and all that to get done, well, I don't see any big problems for you, at least not this week. Overnight lows are going to get chilly again after we clear out. We'll look at lots of 30s and low 40s. So a kind of a cold program with a little bit of wet weather, which is good. A little more snow in this year. We certainly haven't had any big storms yet this year, but considering the burn scars we have up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, getting lighter rains at this point good. is a good way to go. Yeah.